Hi, Bob. Hi, Tom. Hola, Senor Lopez. <laughs> we're the Love Brothers. Ah. You know, guys, we're here to promote our newest Love Brothers enterprise. It's America's first and only clothing optional paramutual betting track. <laughs> yeah, it's called Nick and Sonny's Stripper Downs. <laughs> You know, we're the only track in America featuring all topless women jockeys. <laughs> or jockettes, as we prefer to call them, of course. Anyway, it gives a whole new meaning to the daily double. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and when you hear the PA blare and they're off, it means both the jockettes and their brassiers. <laughs> <laughs> You know, at Stripper Downs, guys, you know your jockette will show. The question is whether she'll win her place. <laughs> <laughs> and you know something, Bob and Tom? All our Stripper Downs topless jockettes are personally trained by Nick and me. So they're already used to being saddle sore, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> and be sure to pick up a Stripper Downs racing form to learn all the bare facts about the jockettes, such as past record, bus size, and whether they prefer a dry track or like to do it in the mud. <laughs> Very helpful, Nick. Also, be sure to place your bets with any of our topless betting window dolls. Your odds are great with these babes. They're more than happy to lay you 10 to 1, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're really lucky, you could win the Stripper Downs Perfecta Trifecta. Yeah. That's you and two topless attendants of your choice. <laughs> what a parlay, so to speak. Then comes that magic moment when our topless trumpeter blows the familiar call to the post. And remember, fellas, be sure to sign up for our You Could Be the Bugle contest. <laughs> <laughs> And when you see all ten of those jockettes headed down the stretch for the finish line, it's almost hypnotic. Yeah, it's sort of like a possum staring into a sea of headlights. <laughs> <laughs> and, fellas, be sure to bring your Polaroid for your own private photo finish. <laughs> And remember, guys, every day the seventh race at Stripper Downs features totally nude European jockettes. Yeah, it gives new meaning to the term furlong. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. That's used. That's usually a close race, usually decided by a hair, so to speak. <laughs> and you know, fellas, after the race, visit our world-famous Saddlehorn Club, where you can go down the stretch with your favorite jacket, so to speak. Yeah, and you know... The mix-up between the drug testing tank and the beer tapper is practically a thing of the past. <laughs> also, <laughs> when you're in the Saddlehorn Club, be sure to get your picture taken with your favorite jockette, in or out of the stirrups. <laughs> And before you go home, our trainers will ensure that there's no incriminating whip marks on your flanks. Exactly. <laughs> and, fellas, be sure when in the Saddlehorn Club and meet our most popular and winningest jockette. We call her Catherine the Great. <laughs> you know, Bob and Tom, she can take any old horse and go all the way. <laughs> you know, oh, to God. date, she's only lost one race, and that was the super jock at Busty Bell. <laughs> yeah, you know, Busty barely nipped her at the tape. <laughs> you know, Catherine wouldn't have lost it if it would have been a warmer day. <laughs> So true, Nick. So true. <laughs> and be sure to visit Stripper Downs for our biggest race of the year. You know, Bob and Tom, the Kentucky Derby is known as the Run for the Roses. Tell them what our race is called, Nick. It's called the Sprint for the Tulips. <laughs> it's somewhat self-explanatory. <laughs> So 
Well, anyway, that's Nick and Sonny Stripper Downs, formerly known as the Indiana State Fairgrounds. <laughs> yeah. You know, we gave the fair board a kickback on the Midway rides, and they looked the other way. <laughs> well, fellas, why can we bring you such great, wholesome entertainment? One reason. Because, because we're the Love Brothers. Ah! <laughs>